Hey guys, today I'm gonna to break down for you my 10 favorite fonts to use in video. If you're an editor, you know that picking fonts for video is challenging because typically your text on your screen is not on there for a very long amount of time. So your fonts have to be super legible, but that doesn't mean they have to be boring. So today I've got 10 fonts for you that I love using in video, and I'm gonna show you how I use them and what I love about them. Just a quick background, if you're not that familiar with typography, um, there's basically two different types of fonts, right? There's your serif fonts and then there's your sans serif fonts. Here's a good example of a serif font, Times New Roman. And that means that the text characters typically have these little tails on them, little accents all over them, as opposed to a sans serif font like Arial, where it doesn't have those little tails and those little details and it's much cleaner looking. All of the fonts we're gonna be looking at today are sans serif because simplicity is the key to legibility. And so those are the fonts we're gonna be focusing on. Let's first start with the best basic font. I really like Roboto as a basic font. It's really modern, it's a really popular font, and the lines on it are very clean. So I think it really works in a situation with like a business setting. Roboto's a great basic font. Now let's move on to the best font for script. I like this one here called Bull Folly. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I like this one because script fonts can be really tricky and there's usually a lot of variation in the widths of the lines and often the lines in script fonts are very thin and hard to read over live action video like this. But this one here has such nice, thick lines. They're really uniform, except for let's say in between the characters. And I think it's as far as scripts go over video, it's a really legible font. Now let's move on to my favorite font for using an outline treatment. And that is this font called Phosphate. Phosphate is a very bold font that is all caps always. The default on phosphate is to have the inline treatment so it looks like this. What I like to do is change it over to solid and then turn off the face and turn on that outline. Now, if you're curious, how did I blur out the video on the inside of my text? Let me give you a quick tutorial here. Right here, I've got my video clip underneath and my outline text above that. The first thing I'm going to do is select my video clip here in Final Cut, hit Option, and drag up a duplicate of that clip onto my next layer. I'm gonna then head on over to my effects bin and drop on a Gaussian blur on that top clip. And then I'm gonna select my text and I'm going to duplicate that again by selecting it, holding down the Option key, and dragging up another version. This time I'm going to turn off the outline and turn on the face. Now I'm gonna go over to my second video clip again. We're gonna head on over in our effects bin over to mask. We're gonna grab an image mask and drop it on there. And where it's asking me for the mask source, I'm going to select my solid face text, hit apply clip, and then I'm gonna select that text again and hit the V key to shut it off. And there you go. Now I have the blurred video inside my text. I love this effect, guys. Okay, let's move on to my favorite text for using a tracking effect. This text I've got here is called VIP, but there's a bit of a twist here. Even though it looks like it's all capital, you actually want to type out VIP in all lowercase. Let me show you if you type it in all caps. That's what the capital letters in the font VIP look like. That actually, believe it or not, says VIP. You can't even tell the capital letters in this font are completely illegible. I hate them, but the lower case version of VIP is really nice and clean looking. They already come a little bit kerned out and you can kern them even more if you like. I really love VIP for tracking text. All right, let's talk about lightweight fonts. This one, am I pronouncing this right? You guys help me out here. I think it's pronounced Hirogino Sans. And for me, this is the best 
light font. It's just so clean looking and the light version of it is just so slim and delicate. It has different weights. Um, you can go all the way up to weight nine and I'm not crazy about the heavyweight on Hirajino Sands because you get a lot of curvature here in the letters. You see how they, they start to flare out at the bottom? That is not my favorite look, but that lighter weight version of the font for me is stunning. Uh, just a tip for you guys, if you're having a hard time deciding what color font will work and you don't just wanna do white, pick a bright, bold color from inside your frame. In this case, I chose her tennis racket. And that's where I got this bright yellowish, greenish color for this font. All right, now let's move on to my best textured font. This one here is called Gaz, and it comes with this kind of neat texture inside the fonts. Again, I pulled this color from the cookies here, the Macrons on this table in this shot. I like Gaz, it's nice and bold, it's easy to read, but it is anything but boring. This font is also another one that comes only in all caps. Let's move on to a font that looks great in all lowercase. This is another one I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce. I believe it's called Haiti, and this is my best lowercase font. It's just so clean looking, and I really love the way it looks in all lowercase letters. Not every font looks great in just lowercase, so when I want something with a modern lowercase feel, this is where I reach. All right, now let's talk about best all caps. This one here is called Bebis New, and I love this font. It's slightly condensed, but I love how uniform all of the lines in every single letter are. It's just so clean, it's really attractive, it's very easy to read, and it always looks great. All right, let's move on to a font that I think looks great, bold. This font is called Poppins, and I really like this font a lot because when you set it to bold, and there are a lot of weights that you can do with Poppins, and frankly, I think they all look fantastic, but with Poppins, even on the black weights, the letters don't flare out anywhere. They stay nice and straight, and I really like that. I find a lot of times when I find a font I really like, and then I set it to bold, and all of a sudden the shape of the font changes a lot. You just saw that with the Hirajino Sands, and Poppins doesn't do that. The integrity of the font is really maintained, even at the thicker weights, so Poppins for me is definitely a winner. And then let's go to the best condensed. I like this one here, Helvetica New. It's a version of Helvetica that really looks great when it's condensed, even condensed bold, and even condensed black. I really like condensed fonts because sometimes you want to make the font really large in scale, but then you have to fit it in in a horizontal way within the negative space in the shot behind it. So a condensed font can really save the day. And I like Helvetica New. I think it's a really clean font that looks good when it's condensed. So you guys, those are my favorite go-to fonts. What are your favorite go-to fonts? Let me know in the comments. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, don't forget to give me that thumbs up. Ring the bell, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you again.